Can you hear me? All right. Hello, everybody. So, a lot of people are having issues with the update, and I am here to help you out with that. So, we're going to go ahead and take this. All right. So, let's say I'm here right here at Google. Go ahead and type Rage. Plugin hook. You can see it's already coming up. I'm just going to hit enter. Hey, look. Rage plugin hook right here. Let's go ahead and click on that. It is the entire website. Downloads. All right. Rage plugin hook. 0.51. This is the one you want, but if you don't know, you will see right below it. It says added support for game version. And then you go to check your GTA 5 game version and it'll tell you this is what it is. It's also got all this other stuff. Yay, but we're most excited that it covers for the game version 1.0 or 1011. So we're going to head, we're going to download that. Now, while that's downloaded, you do not need script hook 5 to run LSPDFR. However, probably a lot of your mods do need it. I'm pretty sure ELS will run it. Stuff like Spotlight, other other things that are just downright fun to have. So we go ahead and we do script hook and it's already right there. Script hook five. A lot of people like to get it from here, which, you know, I'm not gonna blame you either way, but this is the official script hook five website. And you can see it's got all of this. And the reason why I like coming here is because one, you can always, uh donate to them if you want to because it takes a lot of time and effort to be even or even be able to make this stuff happen for all of us that like to play this but then you can also come down here and this is for version 1.01011 and that's the version that we're looking for right there so we go ahead and we hit the download button and now we've got both of these downloaded all right so i'm going to go ahead and take my Rage plugin hook, which you usually need something like a WinZip, WinRAR, whatever you like to use, something that can extract it. For those of you who are not super techy, what this basically is, is you jam pack a whole bunch of stuff in a little tiny suitcase, put it on the energy or internet to save space, and then when you get that downloaded, you can actually, you'll unzip it and it basically makes everything explode from your UK, your suitcase, which is, you know, basically spring loaded. It's just basically a way to compress something in case you didn't know. All right. Now I am going to do this step by step. So I'm going to show you. So for what I like to do, I have it on my favorites because it's on my desktop. On my desktop, I have where I have my game. And then I come to where I have my LSPDFR files. And there's a whole bunch of mods in here. So I like to go into my Rage plugin hook. I have an update. And then I have 0.5 from the last update. And now I have 0.51, which is for this update. So I'm going to go ahead and unzip all of this information. And I'm going to replace everything. It's like improvisation. Just go with it. Everything's a yes. Unless it says it's going to destroy your computer and it's going to blow it up. Don't do that. However, I go back to where I have my script hook 5. And we're going to take care of this one. And so we're going to take all of our files in here. And we're going to unzip them too. Like I said, let's start off right here. Go to my favorites, my desktop, my game my LSPDFR files, come right down here to script hook, I go to my update, and this is 1.0, and the reason this is 1.0 is because script hook is 1.0. I could also have made it the 1.0 or 1011. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and unzip it to here. I'm going to replace everything in here. I'm just going to replace everything, just everything. All right. So now I go to where I just put everything up. Let's see. Rage plugin hook. My update, 
my 0.51 update. So this is the newest version of Rage plugin hook. Here's now my GTA 5, which in case you don't know how to find it, there's two ways to find it. If you have Steam, you are going to just open a random file, which here, I'll just go to my computer, it has all of these in here. My computer is on my C drive. And then I go to my program files 86. My Steam file or my Steam folder right here. Then in Steam, you go to Steam apps. Then you go to common. And then you go to Grand Theft Auto 5, which you can say I have more than just that. And now I'm at my GTA 5 directory. Now you do not have to do the license or the SDK. But because I'm a weird person and I like to be weird, I'm going to do all of them. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste it right in here. It's going to ask me if I want to copy and replace. And then down here at the bottom is a little checkbox. It says, do this for the next 14 conflicts. Yes, I want to do that because I don't want to click it 14 times. Do for the next two. Yes, because I don't want to keep clicking. All right. Now, Rage Plugin up to date is installed. I go back to my game and then to my LSPDFR files. And now we got to go down to script hook. I have everything alphabetical order, so it's nice and easy for me to get to. Now with this, you can open the readme if you need to. And it tells you installation instructions right here. It says copy this to the main folder. In order to load ASI plugins, you have to have the ASI loader installed. Da, 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 da. It goes through everything, tells you what's been changed on it. It's a very nice setup. So we go into our bin and we find three. Now, Native Trainer is, it's like the green box trainer that'll open up when you press, I think it's F4. And it makes it so that you can teleport, it spawns vehicles, it does a whole bunch of stuff for you. If you do not want the native trainer that comes with script hook, do not put this file in there. Just go ahead and take it out and do whatever you want to with it. However, because I'm lame and I still use it, I'm going to copy all of these right back over to my GTA 5 directory. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and paste it right in there. Copy and replace. La da 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 da. Now, if I am correct, I should be able to play the game. Please read this disclaimer carefully. We could be asking for your firstborn. Well, I don't have any children, so I'm okay with it. I'm just kidding. You should probably read it. Really. All right, so accept terms and conditions. Finish initializing all this fun stuff. It's going to go through all of the steps. If any of those are not green, it will turn out red. It will stop there, and it will tell you. And what will happen is usually, like if it's a Microsoft redistributable C++ 2000. 12, 2015, whatever it is, it'll say, do you want to download this? Or do you want to install this? Usually Rage Plugin Hook's so amazing that they have it already set up so that if you do one click, it'll install it for you. So we're going to go ahead and say no, because I'm not going to do a backup, although I know I can. Apparently mine just doesn't like me, so I'm going to go ahead and manually close it out. And then it's going to pop right up right about here. Or I'm going to have to restart it. Nope, popped up. In here, in case you don't know much about Rage Plugin Hook, your console key is F4. That means when you get in the game, you press F4 and it will pop up and you'll be able to do all the commands. It'll tell you what's going on with Rage Plugin Hook. You've probably seen it before. You have your plugins. Obviously, I have a few plugins over here. Advanced settings, game settings, all your revert. If you do not know what game version you have, 
Raid Plugin Hook is amazing because they have it right here. This is Grand Theft Auto's version 1.0.1011.1. And I have mine on Steam. And the Rage Plugin Hook, when it's green like this, it means it's compatible. So all I have to do from here is I have to do Save and Launch. And it'll go ahead and launch it up for me. I'm going to prevent it from launching. And the reason I'm going to prevent it from launching is because many of you probably have a mods folder. And what I've been noticing with this update is it's been getting really frustrating because it, it'll load all the way up to a certain point and then it'll just keep loading and loading and loading. And the issue is, is in the new update, so I'll go into edit mode. I'll go over here. And it actually has it show in mods folder. But what's happening is, when you go to your update folder and you hit edit mode, there will be a green bar that comes out kind of like, here. See how this is a red one that says you want to show it in your mods folder? If I didn't have it in my mods folder, it would say, do you want to copy it to your mods folder? But because I've already done this, it goes right over to the mods folder. Now, what's been happening is there's a green box over here that says you need to update your update folder, which is this one right here, and you need to update it to your mods folder. Just remember, don't change anything in here. You just need to go in here, put it in edit mode, and it'll automatically say, hey, listen, do you want to do this? You say yes. It'll automatically put it to your mods folder. Everything should work out fine after that. Because I have everything all set up, let's go ahead and see. This is a non-edited video. I'm doing this straight through. And it's loading. It's loading like it's never loaded before. I hate this screen. I've seen this screen so many times. But you get to the initializing game support. Velocity limit removed. Patching code. And usually what happens is you get down to the waiting for game initialization, initializing core, and then completing an operability, and it will not go past that. Don't know why. Something in the update code. It just doesn't want to let it go through.
Mine likes to take forever because holy freaking hallelujah. That's just how life goes. Alright, so I'm all loaded up. Have my nice car here. Got some modded cars in here. Got an RS Ford Focus and got a 2015 Ford Mustang. Uh, Shelby GT. Let's go ahead and just, you know, spawn a couple of cars just for the fun of it. Like, this is a car I added onto the game. Just see if it works. That works. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn. Ah, uh, it looks like it works. Thank you for watching. If you need any more help, just let me know. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, comment, anything. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.